Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am doing the step into spring tag. I believe this was started by Amon over at the trend edit. I will have the video link down below of where I found it. This is actually a tag that I am doing in collaboration with Tiffany Johnson here on YouTube. I will have her channel and her video linked down below. If you guys can't tell, I finally got my ring white. You can see the rings in my glasses. So um, I'm gonna have to get contacts again because that might get annoying, not just to you, but also to me. <laughs> but for right now, we're gonna deal with those rings and then I'll figure out a way to fix that. <laughs> but at least we are brighter and lighter in here. So let's get into this tag. The first question is what three colors remind you of spring? The three colors that remind me of spring are like green grass, green, like a Kelly green, really bright, like a blade of, gla of grass, <laughs> blade of glass, a blade of grass. Other one is like a hot pink. I think of Easter eggs, I think of Easter baskets, I think of all the colorful Easter bunnies out there just a bright pink and then the other one would be like a robin's egg blue just a really pretty blue maybe like a tiffany robin's egg just really pretty colors i was looking around the store i work out i was looking around the store that i work at and there's just so many pretty spring things all over the place and i'm like oh, i just want to buy everything i'm so excited for spring winter is my least favorite least favorite season <laughs> so the next um, number two is, what is the first thing you'd add to your wardrobe in the spring? A white skirt. Whenever I was a teenager, I had a white skirt from Old Navy that I wore for many years. It was in a size 14 and it had a zip on the side. So as I slowly started to gain weight, I could still like unzip it and kind of make it work up until I got to about a size 18 and then I was like way too short and it did not work but I loved it so so much it was like white with like a lace kind of outlay on it I forget but it was so pretty and it was by Old Navy and I wore it just for about four years straight and every spring I would get some new high colorful heels from Payless and little tank tops and I felt like I looked so cute and I just I loved it it was very springy um, number three, what is the first wardrobe item you ditch in the spring? I'd like to say I would ditch all the black and just be really colorful, but I work for Clinique and my dress code is all black. So that is why I am just gonna be stuck with wearing all black. So black, black, black all the time. But if I could just ditch it all for something more colorful. But. I can always spring it up with some orange earrings and make it look more springy that way. Number four, what are your what are your ultimate spring nude and spring bright lipsticks? Well, I was thinking about this, and my spring bright would be what I'm wearing right now. It's called Melon Pop, Color Pop Clinique. So I love a nice orange lip. This one's a little more muted down, so it's not too bright, not too competing with my orange blush and my orange earrings. So this is called Nude, and this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty, I'm sorry, it's not called Nude, it's called Melon. So, and there is another one that I wear that's a little bit brighter than this one called Poppy. I was looking at my collection to see if I owned it. I thought that I did, but I don't. That one's also another really pretty bright orange, and I had that one on earlier today. And then my favorite Nude, is this one it's called nude by Tarte and this is the quench lip resurgence and this I'm almost out of it no I have a little bit left but this is it's a really pretty nude and it just gives a really pretty gloss and it's just it really quenches your lips it really feels really good so I love these um I have used quite a bit of that and it smells really minty so this one smells good the Clinique ones don't have a scent Clinique is fragrance free so number five what is your top spring fragrance and I was thinking about this one too right now my favorite spring fragrance is Miss Dior blooming bouquet any pink fragrance I'm going to like if it's rose or flowery I'm going to like it Woo. that's cold <laughs> Woo. but it smells so good I love Anything that has to do with a bouquet, anything that has to do with flowers, roses, if it's pink, I love it. 
The one that I want to get next after my no buy, because I am in a no buy now for the rest of the year. So next year, probably for my birthday, I really want to get Chanel Chance, the pink one. It smells so good. I've been coveting it for years. I never bought it because it is expensive, but I might just break down and get it for my next birthday. <laughs> Number six, what do you add or drop from your skincare routine in spring? I feel like I do a lighter moisturizer in spring and I'm not having to do my acne medication as much. So I've kind of, I used to do a lot of like acne products and now I'm doing um, more of like a moisturizer, but like a lighter moisturizer. I don't need a really heavy moisturizer like I did in winter, like whenever it was really cold. And I don't need a lot of the acne products because I think what it was is the heavier moisturizers were kind of clogging my pores and making me break out. So I'm switching more to a lighter moisturizer, which means I don't need to do as much acne products. So those are kind of the things that I'm kind of switching up with my skincare routine. It says, do you change your hair up in spring? I guess I just shave it off. <laughs> so I usually um, get highlights in spring. Um, whenever I was younger, I used to get highlights like every spring and go kind of blonde, but this last couple of years, I kind of kept my hair natural, and then last year I'd had it blonde, and now this year, it's gone, and so I guess I do, but not regularly, not, not anything specific. Number eight, are there any exciting beauty releases that you're waiting for for spring? There are so many things in the beauty world that I want right now, but because I am on my no buy, I have been really good. I stopped on, I started to unfollow all the makeup brands. I don't follow Too Faced or Tarte or Clinique. I barely even follow Clinique. I only follow them for work, but um, Sephora, Ulta, I stopped following them on all social media so that I don't see all the new releases of all the beautiful makeup. But yes, there are so many things out right now that I want. And I know that if I just logged on to, um, to Ulta.com or Sephora.com, I could pick out 50 things that I wanted. <laughs> There's so much, there's so much. The Stila shimmers, glitter things I want, and then there's so many glittery makeup things, and Leora Makeup Loves 52 always uploads all these amazing videos of makeup that I want, and I just want it all, so I live vicariously through her. If you guys don't know who she is, I'll have her videos linked down below. She does a lot of new release makeup videos. She's like always buying everything, and I'm like, dang, Leora, what do you do for a living? I wanna do your job so I can buy all that makeup. <laughs> Number nine, what are your top three favorite nail shades? I don't know. I don't really do anything with my nails. Because with my job, I have to either have my nails kind of manicured or like kept up. If they start to flake or anything, we have to take our polish off. They're supposed to always be kept really, really nice. So because I suck at doing nails, and every time I do my nails, it's like a Monet, because from far away, it'll look, it'll look okay, but up close, it's a big old mess. So I usually don't paint my nails but if I had to pick out some nail colors for spring I would probably do like a baby pink and then like a maybe like a mint green and also like a robin's egg blue I think those are really pretty and I have a couple of those colors in my nail polishes I need to start painting my nails more often and I'm thinking I'm gonna do a nail polish declutter soon because I just I never paint my nails so number 10 who do you tag for this video next I tag you who's ever watching so if you want to do this video maybe um abdabs might want to do it or anyone else who watches my videos um i would love to see your videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this spring tag and i hope that you check out tiffany's video i have it linked down below i'll see you guys soon with another video bye guys